Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Um, it's a bit of an update slash, you know, review of uh, what I'm up to really, my little video blog thingy. Um, you've seen some of the orcs, so I'm not going to go into great detail about that, but I did want to show that I've painted, oh, why do I do that every time, one of the champions, which I love this guy. He's amazing. What a pose. Great. I've just realised I haven't painted that rock that he's standing on. That's dumb. But at least, see, when you do these things, you don't notice these things until you go back and look. So, glad I did that. Don't know if I show the drummer. Great fucking sculpt. I have. Ugh, I can't say it enough. The Oathmark sculpts are some of the best out there, I think. Not too complicated. But not simple. They, they look just right. Very Tolkien-esque. Love it. And I'll show off a few of the small conversions I did. Um, very small, actually. These just fuck all, actually. I don't know. <laughs> don't know why I'm bringing it up. But I do love... I took the horns off of the, the sergeant, like the, the leader helmet, because I didn't like it. I just really didn't like it. So, but I liked it on these helmets. So I, I cut it off and put it on a couple. Uh, three, actually. This guy. I like him. I'll give him a gold tooth as well. Make him stand out a little bit. Give a couple of them gold teeth, just randomly. Uh, I think this, uh, yeah, this one. He's got horns as well. Different, though. Different, but same, same. Actually, they're not even the same kind of horns. I don't know where they came from. Yeah, I thought I'd put it on one of the yellow guys. I don't like the yellow tunics, but I thought, you know, I've got to have a bit of variation in there. It's a couple of couple of yellows, a couple of greens, different types of greens, and then a couple of reds. The rest are like browny colours. I really like this guy. It's actually, I like that the tunic is very similar to the colour of his skin. It is ever so subtly different, but it's very similar, but I quite like it. It works well. Yeah, so that's the orcs I've been working on. Fantastic. Absolutely love them. Still haven't painted the king. Got the king and then the sorcerer. Still to do. But I have done a number of small conversions on the next batch. There's obviously there's you can make 30 in the kit. But obviously there's six spots for the, the guys. I think I'm only going to use five for the for the metal models. So I've got a few more to go. Maybe like five more. But I did small conversions on these guys. Again, the horns off of the, the captain helmet. And then I get an axe from my bits box. Looks a bit orky, do you know what I mean? It's got like a tooth hanging off it and it's a nice big blade. Oh, that guy's just nothing special. This guy, again, horns. And I had a random, I think it's from the skeleton kit from many years ago. I had one of them in my bits box. I thought that'd make a nice looking orky weapon. This guy made him uh, left handed. You do get a left-handed axe, but you don't get a left-handed shield. So I had to do a little bit of converting for that. And, uh, yeah, one more guy. Just chilling. Got his horns on. I like the idea of the horns. But uh, the second thing I've been doing, apart from the orcs, is I finally got around to finishing my Bretonians I got. Let's move these out of the way. The Bretonians I got second hand. It's taken me a long while to get around to finish painting these. But I wanted these two models from the Welsh range of Footsaw. This guy, not entirely happy with. I think he'll look better once I've... Uh, I might dirty up his tunic a little bit. It looks a bit shiny at the moment. Once I give it a spray of matte varnish, it might help. I did spray the banner and... I'm not happy with it at all because it melted some of the decals. Not all of them though. And look, it's left this horrible like frosty bit around there. I'm going to have to paint black over that, but it's left it frosty. Never had this problem before. No idea why it's done it. In fact, I'm not happy with that banner at all. I might even get rid of it completely. We'll see. Might redo it. But he's a nice model. Really nice model. He's from Footsaw. He's the Welsh Bannerman. But this guy is the main event. 
I love this model. When I first saw it advertised, I was like, that is going to be leading, probably, I might even lead my whole army of humans. Love it. Shield idea, I got, um, I had uh, Adeptus Aurotus from 40k. Shield, uh, shield, um, decals, sheet. And I was like, dude, they would look so good with my, like, on the shields. And I was like, right, there's 20 something of these in the smaller one. So I thought I'll put them on all the shields. And I had a big one. I thought he's going, that's going straight on that shield. And then I painted a, painted it like checkered, but not quite checkered. You know what I mean? Same sort of fat check as the other one. But I thought I'm going to make him white. You know, have a white shield and obviously he's got a white tunic. Make him stand out a little bit. Yeah, I'm really happy with him. Except for one thing. I sprayed him with varnish because he's metal. And it like left a little bit of frost. It's left like frosty thing on, on the metal parts. And on the shield it toned it down a little bit. You can't really tell on this camera. But in person I think you can tell. My missus says you can't tell. But... You know, maybe that's just me. But yeah, I put the, the decals on every shield as well. Which took a surprising amount of time. But I think it's worth it. I really think it does complete the unit. I would not... It just wouldn't look right without it. And now I've got that. I don't have enough of these. But I was thinking each unit can have a different squad markings kind of thing. So they're not all going to have the hearts on... But my like I've got swordsmen in this scheme and some halberds. I might put on all of their shields as well. Some of the other decals, which I don't have at hand. But there's some really cool ones with the sororitas. They look just right with like medieval stuff. So yeah, so impressed with with those guys from Footsaw. Let's go ahead and get them down here and have a little look at it like that. Yep. Again, the basin on that one. In fact, they're both from um, Geek Gaming. This is Scrublands, I think. Really nice. And then I'll use Tufts from what I bought off eBay and shit. And uh, this is the... I forget. Forest Floor, I think. All of my humans are in that scheme. All of my orcs are going to be in... In that, my undead have got like dirty, like marshland looking bases. I want, I want each army to look unique. Do you know what I mean? I don't, I don't want to paint them all for the same battle. I know a little weird if I'm fighting these versus these, but I don't care because it's all about what they look like to me. There goes my fucking camera stand. <laughs> <laughs> all right. On that note, I guess that's the end of the video. <laughs> Tara, if I could fucking press it.